Hello everybody. So we're going to do an experiment today. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm using up just the rest of my Envirotex light here. There's about three and a half ounces and I'm going to put that down first because this has the best uh, like gloss glass like finish. So I want that at the top of my piece here. I got a few micro bubbles in here but I'm going to go ahead and put it out. It should go pretty thin, and then that'll be easy to get those out of here. Okay. Okay, now I've also got eight ounces of my Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity that the Artist Resin is made up, and that one has a really long working time, and so, I'm waiting for it to warm up a bit. It's just now starting to warm up. And I'm going to go ahead and get this. This is going to be a really thin layer of this entire Viratex light on this piece. On the front here, I mean. So I'm going to get it all the way down to the edges. Oops, not over the edges, just down to the edges. Now it is everywhere. I'm going to run my heat gun over this real quick. Okay, because this is um, such a thin piece right here, it should be good to go now. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also spray a bit of my alcohol over the top of this. Oh my gosh, I still have not gotten a new Thing, so I'm going to have to come back here. There we go. Okay, and now this resin here is starting to get a bit warm, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this over the top of it. Use my heat gun again. Alright, so now I'm going to mix up a bit of resin to do my pouring for my colors, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and what I've got left here is just my Diamond Clarity. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up this while that sits a second. Okay, so this resin needs to mix for six minutes, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so I've mixed up uh, six ounces of resin, and I've put about one ounce into this little cup here, and I am going to be making my centerpiece. So I'm going to be putting in some seed beads here. and also some gold glitter flakes and then just a tad bit of gold mica powder my uh, let's resin golden mica powder go it looks like in here right now and let's see I'm not quite happy I'm gonna add a few more seed beads in here I want it a little bit thicker than this I'm gonna add a bit more glitter I really want it to thicken up here, I'm going to add a bit of this gold glitter flakes. I really wanted it thicker than it was, and now it's more pasty, okay? That's kind of what I wanted. It's kind of a golden 
center. Okay, so I'm going to put just a little bit here in the center. Just a bit. I don't want it to go off too far. Let's see, about like that. And we'll let that sit there for a minute. Maybe a little spray of alcohol over it. There we go. Okay, so now while that's sitting there, now let's see um, the color. That is, we're using Pixis alcohol ink. We're going to use mum, petal, and carrot. Okay. And actually, I think I might add a yellow as well to the very edge. I, I think we'll use the sunflower. Okay, it's kind of an orangey yellow. But we're going to kind of gradually change our colors here. All right. So we've got a bit of that center left. I'm going to go ahead and pour this out onto something else so that I will have a couple center pieces to use the next time. We are going to use one of these for making our flower. This looks like my gold is kind of scooting over towards the other side. I don't want my center piece to be just in one solid blob. I want it to kind of, you know, not look like it's all tight. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, okay, so now I'm going to mix up some white to put in my little bottle over here. And we are going to be using Cast and Craft for our white. Okay, I just did a couple of squeezes in there. going to pour some of this into this bottle and then I'm going to put a bit of alcohol in it. Okay, got a bubble here at the top. There we go. Okay, so there is that one. And then I'm going to need to probably thin this a bit to get my, um, to get my flower going up. I can see dust and things landing in here. Okay, so what Let's go ahead and get started with our alcohol inks. Okay, so I'm going to start with mom around the center. And then I'm going to do a uh, carrot. And then we're going to go to petal. And I'm doing these drops kind of close together because they're going to retract in. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let that sit for just a moment. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a bit of alcohol to this. Since this isn't working real great, I'm going to have to just pour just a little bit in here. And then I can thin this up a bit. I want it to come out nice and evenly. Let me try, try this and see how it's doing. I feel like it's getting just a tad bit warm, which is good. There we go. Okay, that is ready. And let's see, 
going to do any more of this. Well, I think we're going to leave it at this for now. Maybe, well, maybe a little more yellow across the edges just because, like I said, it's going to pull in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start with our flower, okay? So we're going to go ahead and see, is my flower level I feel like? I don't want to really mess with this too much, but I feel like I need to move it down a bit. Let's see if it's going to kind of move down this way a little. You know, I just bought a leveling table, and I don't know why I don't get it set up. Need to do that. All right, let's go ahead and start our flower. Okay, there we go. I think that's about all we're gonna do for that part of the white. It's about all we can get in there. I'm gonna go in and add, let's see, we're missing a little bit of red here. Back in a little bit of way. Okay, so I'm gonna get my heat gun out here. Okay, so now we are going to draw out our flowers a bit to try to get some of the design, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're going to come in. Every couple of strands there. Okay, there we go. And we are going to just leave it at this, okay? All right. Thanks, everybody. And when this is cured, I will be back and we'll see you then. Okay, everybody, I am back. I am going to make up some black to put on the back of our flower tray. So, I moved our flower tray over to the curing rack where it was in a really level spot. I noticed that the clear and the flower itself were kind of 
leaning off to one direction. So when I pour the black, I really need it to be in a flat spot. Okay, so I've made up a few ounces here and I'm going to go pour it. I'm going to spray some alcohol in this and a little bit over the top of that flower. And that's basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some black over the back of it. I'm going to spread it out evenly and then we'll be back to demold this when it's all cured. Okay, I will see you then. Hello everybody. Okay, we are back to demold this. I really hope that it turns out really nice. It's um, really shiny on the back and completely cured. So I'm ready to take it out of here. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, good luck. Hopefully this one will work. And here we go. Oh gosh. What do you think? Wow. We got petals. We definitely did get some petals. It's more of an artistic looking flower. <laughs> there was some movement in here. You can see um, you can see here where the petals are coming straight out and then over here where they kind of come out and over a little, um, maybe as if your flower was going to stand up, maybe this way, where it's kind of lean, reaching up towards the sun. I don't know, it turned out really pretty though. Look at all those colors. So this was with the Pixis alcohol ink, not the pinata, which is what I normally would use. But gosh, the colors are really vibrant. So I feel like now when I go to try this again, if my table was more level, I wouldn't have had this happen, okay? I would have had it probably all come out like this, except my petals would have been a bit better, like here. But yeah, it's really pretty, really pretty. The sides all turned out great. We have no bubbles in this at all. So, and then also what we did with this one is we used Envirotex Light, very thin coat over just the very, very bottom here because I really prefer that for the finish as far as like the glossy glass-like finish. And then when that was, um, gosh, I don't think it was even cured all the way before we went ahead then and used in, um, my Naked Fusion on all of the rest of it. But yeah, it worked. It's really pretty, it's a little different but it's really pretty. It's really big. It's about nine and a half inches round. So it's a pretty big flower, but I think it turned out really pretty for a small tray or I don't know, maybe even to hang. Or I could see myself putting this also on a plate stand on my, um, like an entry table or something. It's really, really pretty. All right, you guys, well, here it is. Thank you so much for coming and doing this project with me. Um, usually I do coasters of this kind of thing or small trays. Um, I've never done one quite this large. So that was really fun to give this a try. Let me know what you think and I'll bring you down for a close up here so you can see the petals. And I just want to thank you all for joining me and I will see you next time.